Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I'm playing Lost Ark, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Red Orc looking character. Now please note, this is only for the warrior or the male gunner. This does not work for the male martial artist. Now, the quick and dirty version of this, for anyone that just wants to get straight into it, all you have to do is click on special at the top here. Go down to tattoos, go to fixed plus, and in the bottom left corner, you will see the face paint that looks like an orc. And all you need to do now is just change the eyes, change the hair, match up the body, uh, skin color, and you're good to go. Now, a word on these other face paints, there is no skin tone that will match the greens. I haven't tried going very pale for the whites, but I know for a fact that there's no skin tone that will match this. And it's also worth noting that the martial artist does have this face paint. So if you don't care about seeing skin, then you can just wear some armor to cover it up and you're good to go or get some longer hair. That, that's what I recommend. So. You pick the red orc face paint then we're going to want to match up the skin tone now this may not matter to people but there is a seam on the back of the neck and i feel like a lot of people won't care if you wear like armor that goes all the way up to the neck like most of it does it's not going to be an issue but if you're like me, and you were making this Red Orc character, and you would probably want to wear something like this, then you were going to see the, you know, your character's body, you're going to see the skin colour. So, what I recommend is you match it up as best as you can, and it's going to have to be fairly dark for it to match. Now I'm just going to do this quick and dirty here, so... The purpose of this video i think that will do but yeah it's roughly around this area you need to be in and then you just need to adjust the brightness so you can get it how you want it to look but at the back you will see that there is a seam and it is fairly noticeable and as you can see here when in game it does show up if you go with the darker skin tone now unfortunately there's no decent way of fixing this. You can make the skin tone lighter, but the problem is, is that when you look at your character on the front, if you go too light, then what happens is... If you match up the, the seam at the back, where the skin meets, then the body tone will definitely not match the face. It kind of sucks, but not much you can do there. So... One way around that is to either wear armor that will go up to the neck and you won't see it. Two, just ignore it. I feel like most players are not going to be bothered by that, but if you're like me and you know it's there, it's just going to bug you, so you kind of want it perfect. Uh, this is what I recommend. I recommend picking a hairstyle that just covers the back of your neck. If I'm honest, it's probably the easiest way to handle this. Which is unfortunate because I feel that this hairstyle here is probably the better look or the, one of the best looking hairstyles for this Red Orc character. But the top right hairstyle also kind of works. Those dreads kind of fit the, the Red Orc pretty good and it covers up the seam at the back of the neck. So all you need to do is just match that skin tone to the front. So once you're set there, you will want to mess with the, the eyes. Now, it's up to you how you do this. You can do one eye at a time. If you want to go blind, you can do that. Just drop down the opacity. Uh, otherwise, just pick one. Change the eye color. I personally like making it black. So you just take the brightness all the way down. And then the iris color is whatever color you want. You could go with orange. You could go with yellow. I personally like red. 
definitely one of those kind of edgy players that is a big fan of you know making badass looking characters and going with the red and blacks and all that good stuff this is what i like that's quite simple you can change like the detail of the eye if you want personally i just prefer this first option and we're gonna go back to this pre-made look uh sorry to this face option here now this will change how your character looks personally i think the best face is this bottom right one which is the oldest looking kind of battle worn face there is and it just fits this kind of look so well so that's my personal preference after that you will want to go to advanced face settings and you can just toy with this as much as you want the only ones that i think that really matter are probably the eyebrows i like lowering the eyebrow shape just down you can try to angle it and you know make him look a bit more pissed off cheeks don't really do all that much to be honest for this character jaw does help you can like give him a bigger jaw make his head a bit bigger a bit more noticeable make it vertical however you want to do it for chin shape i would change the protrusion to come all the way out i personally like to bring the angle all the way in just to help with the face a little bit but the nose I like make it as big as possible and kind of short as possible and then I bring it in as well kind of flatten his face down just to give him that that kind of like not quite as humanish look as possible that's what I'm kind of going for and then from there you know if you want to detail it you can add two-tone colors to the hair as I said, you can change the one eye and make it blind if you wanted to. Like so. Personally, I like the bo uh, having both eyes. Now you can mess with this slider here for the wrinkles. It does add a bit more detail to the face if you keep the the bar all the way to the left take note that messing with the makeup options here does not change anything else adding you know eyeliner eyeshadow blush lipstick color that does not work you can add a beard but take note that all the beards will cover up the tusks on the face which does make it look a little bit weird but personally I don't recommend that and then for voice just pick a voice you like I suggest type 1 or 2 but that, that's it then you're good to go then you have your your red orc character hope you found this video useful enjoy <laughs>